Hey David. Y yes, sir. Like, it's the casting think... couch. It's the ca <laughs> it's the casting couch. Hey, let's go. Where is your casting couch, over? Huh? Behind me. It's my bed. Oh, where the magic happens. Yes, zero magic. All with me. Oh. <laughs> So today we're doing a Zack Snyder Justice League review and we got A over here with us, we got Jesper here with us and I forgot your real name but we got Batman here with us. Do you want to stay Bruce your... Wayne. Yeah, yeah, Bruce, no, Bruce Wayne. Wayne, we got Bruce Wayne with us. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will put up all your Instagram names here so if anyone wants yeah, to follow best this, for you, this man. hotties uh, on their own accounts then go for it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're doing a review today about Zack Snyder's Justice League and we're going to go through five parts which are story, <laughs> visuals, acting, imp downgrades and improvements. Uh, and we're going to start off with the story. <laughs> Everyone looks so fucking confused. <laughs> Wait, are we actually starting? I thought that was the intro and then we're going to cut. Cut! <laughs> okay, perfect. So the story. Uh, well, we could see some major differences from the first movie and the second movie. I I'd say. Uh, oh yeah, I, huge differences. Yeah, I prefer I prefer this one for sure because it got yeah, a greater too. depth me for too. for the major plot and everyone. It felt like everyone had reason to do whatever the fuck they were doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah in that movie, you actually got to see why Steppenwolf wanted them out of boxes and why everyone did what they did. It's not like oh, I'm doing that because. Yeah, I'm doing it. It gave exactly. everyone a purpose. Them. Yep, exactly. Everyone had a single purpose to do, and I, I think most of them did it well. Yeah, yeah and the purpose just also made sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Hey. Let's start at, Let's just start off with the beginning scene, then. On, uh, what was it called? Amazon, I think? Oh, yeah. Is yeah, that, uh, is that uh, what Amazon. it's called? Because uh, yeah, like the... I know they're called the Amazons, but what is the... I, I the no Mosquito, I think. And, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's just start off there. We could already see huge differences with how it started. You see, as it, like, this just turned me off from the CGI completely. <laughs> when, like, yeah, me too. <laughs> when you come in with the uh, the little arena or chamber or whatever you want to call it, holding the mother yeah. box, how it pans in into the first mother box, it, it was just complete utter garbage it looked like cardboard it was so ugly it just made me hate hate the scene and i just that just turned me off from liking the movie in the first 30 minutes i didn't well, think of that but yeah it looked like shit it was yeah. horrible yeah the, the... the cgi wasn't best but if you compare the first scene from the first justice league movie compared to this one yeah you, yeah you can definitely see pretty it much was a lot better yeah, everything's yeah. pretty much an okay, upgrade. So, so first of course, discussing is story-wise. Remember, the CGI was indeed awful in that scene, and it looked like a floating <laughs> fucking box. Uh, <laughs> it looked like a floating mirror, indeed. But story-wise, I preferred this scene. Hey, very, very... <laughs> Let's just talk shit about the CGI in the entire review, okay? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> it. I preferred the. Uh, like how they portrayed it story-wise because they portrayed the Amazons very much stronger in this version oh, yeah, than they did in the previous one. And yeah. the scene was also a lot more, well, gory or whatever the fuck you want to call it. People's it just, bodies and heads getting chopped off. Yeah, it yeah. was very bloody. I like that. I loved it. <laughs> what I also really liked about the scene is like when the portal with Steppenwolves arrives of the mother box, 
This time, the Amazon started the fight and not just the demons came inside and started the yeah. fight. So I, I like that, that the Amazon started the fight this time. Like, yeah. like warriors protecting their place. Yeah. I also liked how it showed as Wonder Woman was kind of a wimp. She wasn't there. Because if she was there, she'd most likely... They'd probably have won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also liked, because me and Jesper was watching both of the versions before we watched, or like we, we watched the theatrical cut and then we watched the Snyder cut, and you kind of can see how much pow- more powerful Stephen Wolf actually is in this cut. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. He, he's much larger. Yeah, and there's yeah, one particular true. like uh, cut or scene I, I preferred uh, very much, because in the first cut he got shot by an, by an arrow and it just deflects on his armor but in this one he actually yeah. catches it and it just feels he just feels like a yeah when, when he just he's like, a meaner guy the cut, but then he catches it yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it and just, i also enjoy how his armor kind of absorbs it so he can like, yeah, kind of take it out and it regens no i yeah, also yeah. like the fact like when they shot the barrage with arrows where he took like five six arrows on his chest yeah. and he just like pumps his chest and all of them break at once it was fucking awesome yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's like with the opening scene, how it goes into. I don't know what you'd call that, but it was Iceland. Let's just say that, yeah, I guess, yeah. because the scenery yeah, was Iceland. It was. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed how they added more of a story there because in the theatrical version, you only. You don't see as much. It's not as deep, I'd guess. And I really enjoyed yeah. how they add different languages and shit like that. And yeah. how Bruce and uh, Aquaman have much more of a connection, or like they talk more, not connection. Mm-hmm. but they talk more and it's a more deeper feeling yeah. and it gets also, us more involved also this time you can actually see like bruce going there knowing who aquaman is but he, yeah. he acts like he doesn't know and he's like give me a uh, ten thousand to talk to him and he's like twenty five thousand to talk him right now yeah. and you when he already knew he's in front of him like that was awesome as well like yeah. they added that in like in the I love how it was cut, they just added some fish man on a wall and said, "Oh, that's the Aquaman." It just, yeah. it was just very weird. And, and I like I like how they made fun of Bruce as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Letting yeah. your mind, you're crazy to do this, but it worked. I liked it. Yeah. Well, what they thing... also like is like it was in like you know the Russia American thing they have like when the Russians laugh against the American then they're all like against him that was something like I found it really cool actually as well yeah yeah one thing I absolutely hated with the beginning was the Wonder Woman scene in London when she does this and fucking breaks the whole wall yeah yeah I'm throwing like big bricks on police officers and (laughs) watchers they would have died exactly like 10 yeah. people right the there on the spot. The rest of the scene I thought was very good. Yeah, but, uh, but why that, did she do that? Yeah, it was one there was guy such left, a big he was explosion. removing, and she literally broke the entire wall and made him yeah. to dust for no literal... Yeah, like, and like, reason. killed... She had <laughs> fucking speech. She could have easily just swooped in and gotten everything yeah. and taken care of it. It's why not that bad. Why did blow up a building? I half agree with you. I fucking love this scene. Like it was she cool, just like, it was fuck, like, fuck you, man. You want to kill children? I will fuck you up. Yeah, and she actually fucked him up. Yeah, but the problem is that she like kills police and shit. Yeah, no one died. The stones fell in front of the cars and destroyed the cars, but no one actually died in that but, scene. But like, except the guy. <laughs> maybe someone was in a car. So maybe someone was at the building. You know, there could I be someone would... that. Mm. How did the I explosion like happen? Because she... You yeah, know, yeah, that happens. Why would that cause fire? How would that cause fire? Oh, but that because like... it's an explosion. This throws like some kind of energy, I think, and it just fucking explodes whenever it hits. <laughs> you know, there can't be no explosion without fire, you know? I, I like <laughs> the entire opening <laughs> scene except that one part, because it just... Yeah, yeah, me too. It just felt like it was there for the cause of being there. And I think that's mm-hmm. something Snyder usually does. He usually yeah. likes to blow stuff up. He likes to do things visually. He, he and sometimes it steps over plot-wise, uh, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I kind of overall, I enjoyed the scene very much. Well, the scene was definitely an, up, an improvement. Like we cannot talk. This scene oh, was yeah. thousand times better than what. But yeah. I also I love the part where she does the explosion just for the fact she, she looked at the guy. You want to kill kids? Okay, I will fuck you up now. And she just. Close him apart. Like I, that's why I love the scene. Yeah, in was, that 
Even you want to kill King? I was fucking improvement. Yeah. Yeah, it was like the bomb also felt a lot stronger, like the one she threw up in the air. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot bigger bomb than it. It felt more like it could blow up five blocks. Also, I yeah. felt her speed was a lot different from yeah, super, like eighty four and the theatrical cut. I, it just felt more real, I guess, but it it's wasn't cool. as believable. Yeah. yeah. And we also got to see like why the terrorists are doing the attack now. Like we just yeah. we knew why they are doing it. They're just like the rare where terrorists were just going to blow it up. We knew why they are doing it, so that was also a nice improvement. Yeah. And mm -hmm. add up to the story. Yeah, I also oh. enjoyed the fact that we got two origins we didn't get in the first one. We got an origin for both Ray Fisher or Cyborg and the Flash. And, yeah. Yeah. And it made them real characters. In the first one, it just felt was... so fucking bad. L like we, we get to see how Victor became Victor. We get to see the car crash with his family, uh, with his uh, uh, mother, yeah. and we get to see a little bit more of a. We get an introduction of the Flash, not a real backstory, but we get to see him uh, do something before we what? actually interact with him with Batman. That was actually one of the scenes that I didn't like because, like. Like, no one knows how to drive in this movie. The guy eating yeah. a burger and he just doesn't want the street and he wants his burger. He's and just Iris West, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Iris West, yeah, Iris West is driving in front of uh, the cross and she just looks at uh, and uh, Flash when there's a uh, thing. <laughs> where's a stop in front of her and she just like, don't think of a fucking... Yeah, just drives through like that was like cringe like what the fuck man yeah. Usually, drive. i have a problem with it but because it was so significant to the story i'm able to overlook that i do that with star wars as well i know there's clear plot holes but or there's clear issues and shit like that as no, you can see no issues <laughs> and no issues with return of the jedi but uh i can overlook that because if we're getting a sequel she's they're definitely gonna have there's gonna be a big part of them there's no doubt about it, unless they do the stupid thing and just push them under the rug. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think that the movie would have gone perfectly fine without this scene. Like you just you didn't see anything. You just see Flash, look at the guy and look at the girl and pick up a sausage for the dogs. Like you yeah. can move on without. It. Yeah, but but it get, it gets like I'd say that it it introduces the character and doesn't just force Bruce Wayne to him. We get to see who this character yeah. is. He doesn't have his work, like it, which is also mentioned in the other, uh, in the first movie, but not in the same way. We, we get to see him get these pointless jobs to, to, you know, to be able to feed himself or whatever, to be able to find proof to, you know, get his dad out of prison. Uh, so, so we I, get uh, kind of a backstory to why he does the things he do. He do. And we also get an introduction of who Iris West Allen is, or Iris West. Yeah. And... Well, that wasn't actually an introduction. She just saved her from a car crash. Like, yeah. I think the scene could have definitely been a lot better by just like make them talk or something like actually normal and not the guy not it not want to catch a burger from the scar oh, and yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the burger drive. part was awful. I, I agree with that. That sucked ass. <laughs> no one I don't can drive. Enjoy. No I one can drive. I didn't enjoy that he pretty much exposed him exposes himself a lot in the movie with his speed. Well, the he glass does a lot destroying he does a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. When he, like destroyed the glass with his yeah. finger. No, I actually I thought that was pretty cool. But him exposing like Grant Gustin's flash, we all know he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, because he he's like extremely sensitive about his uh his identity and he could have easily just gotten Iris, put her down Saved then, other people from that one dumbass explosion from the truck. <laughs> getting a hot dog, we're not even getting one, and go back in like a second. Yeah. Because you saw him take forever to get her out of the car, and that he, well, I'm pretty sure people died, even though we didn't see it. Yeah. People probably would have gotten hurt because there was such a huge explosion. That one truck just yeah. rammed into the back of the car and go boom. Yeah. Well, it actually happened. What you actually said happened, but it was so slow because we were getting the point of view of Flash. Where he was yeah. moving in time, they didn't actually see him run no, and no, do he, shit. He, like they just saw him. Yeah. From no, but he teleported. No, he didn't. No, yeah, because he, he was inside the building at one point, and she was reading uh, his resume or whatever. He goes out. He's holding Iris, and he goes automatically back in. And then she's like, "Whoa, that's cool!" And then j everything just went back to normal. Yeah, because yeah, she, 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 she sees him. Life. No, because. 
when uh, when they land, she's uh, she sees that he catches her. They're looking thing. at each other for a good two, three seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, That's true, true, yeah. true, 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 true. Yeah, but I but don't think like she, it was in his point of view. He, it was in real time. He was still in the speed of light. So she no, probably but didn't like after that. No, but it went back to normal, and like all the cars and shit went back to normal. Even the truck crashing into it went exactly. back when, to normal, when they, and when then the he went back in. Happens. That's yeah, I don't remember. I don't think the, I, I I don't think the guy who's reading the resume saw it because she just looks at him sitting with the dogs, and just looks. Like, yeah, but how would yeah. he get that quick like that? How would he be that quick and have a hot dog randomly? Even it's though he did say that. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he did say I come like with meats or whatever for the dog. Yeah, for yeah, the dog. So I think things she was pretty confused because the car crashed right in the yeah. right side yeah. and explode, exploded. Because, I, I mean, sure. We know that this Flash isn't that responsible. I mean, he's been caught on tape using his powers. But it, I, I just get the feeling that she didn't really see it because, well, he, he just flash. yeah, he just gives the like a natural approach after that. Yeah. Yeah, when he comes in and like, hey, I'm not late, uh, where he can't even talk. Like, yeah, he's awkward. Gave, yeah, he gave her that first, like the first look when you see someone. The lady probably understood, okay, he's awkward. So I don't think that makes a lot of sense. But the thing that you said all about his identity, it's actually pretty comic accurate. Because if you read some comics, he doesn't give a single fuck who yeah. he is. Like, he, he shows his identity, he does stuff in the public. Yeah, and also, the, the, the that's one of the best the best parts about this scene, I'd say. The, the fact that he just says, uh, I'm sorry for being late, because that's the... Yep. But that's a flash thing to do. Exactly. Yeah. He always comes late, so no one will suspect that he's the flash. I kind of love that part. Yeah, I what? do too. But the thing is, like, I, I prefer Ezra's take on the flash. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, he's much faster. Like, Ezra's flash is much, much faster than uh, Grant's flash. And you can see that with the lightning because it doesn't matter when he will run, there's constantly going to be lightning. And that just shows how quick he is because. Uh, Grant's flash only generates some lightning behind him, like a little trail, but not around him. But we only see a few scenes where, like, it generates around him, and that's when he's, like, pumping up and gonna do something, like, huge or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. One thing that made the scene a little obvious that he did something is, like, that his shoes burned off. Like, that made obvious yeah. he probably did something. Yeah. Like do something that it doesn't make it's obvious he did something in the scene make it like look like the flash moves in speed of light saves everyone and chills with the dogs after yeah also yeah. the it's fact like that the, the glass broke out of nowhere i like, thought he's going to he was going to phase like i thought he's going to go through the glass like grant does where he goes yeah, yeah but he's inexperienced yeah i don't exactly. think he'll ever be able to learn something like that because the thing is, he's he so have much faster gone. yep that's he's why so much faster, phase, but he's so he's faster. inexperienced yeah, true, true, actually true. Phasing is just like, vibrating though, matching up yeah. with the molecules and atoms to like an object. Like if I were to move, like this is my phone, if I were to move so fast, I could just do it because I'd be matching yeah. up with this speed vibration. It's totally I, realistic. I think that's going to be probably something for his own movie if he gets one, where he's going to learn it there. Yeah, yeah the because, Flash movie. The Flashpoint yeah, because, Paradox. I hope we get that. <laughs> yeah, same. But I, I agree with you. Like he, he, it looks he's very inexperienced because he's like yeah. when in the next scene, like in a few scenes later, where it was actually the same scene as the Just League, where Bruce goes to his bunker and they meet each other. Bruce talks like, "Yeah, I'm making a team." He's like, "Hold on there." I mean, like you know, he's inexperienced. A, a real hero would like to hear the plan first before saying, "Yeah, cool." I mean, yeah, yeah. And his only excuse is, "I have no friends." Yeah, yeah. like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, m moving on. Uh, That's should... popcorn, yes, but... <laughs> oh, you can hear it? Yeah. I just heard it. But you're like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, I think we've spoken enough about the Flash scene. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the entry point. Yeah. There's no, no such thing as enough Flash. <laughs> yep. We are the I Flash. I love Flash. I love Flash. We are the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> what we can actually say though? We are the Flash, oh my god. I, I agree that this Flash looked better in that scene and 
I think the CGI improved as well in this movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. not only story wise, but he proved CGI as well, like as a flash in his own. Mm, yeah. What was the next scene after that? Uh... Oh, I just want to add one more thing to that. As like going back with the inexperience, like the way he was running, I just thought it was so dumb. Yeah. Like he true, was, true. And he was literally just like jogging this. normally. Yeah, and he was like kind of sliding around and shit. It just, I didn't enjoy that at all. Yeah, his his hand movement is very very weird. Not only that, but when you see for the Grand Casting's flash, you see the time around him stop, but he moves fast inside of that time. In yeah. this case, Lightning the time stops. Him. Yeah, lightning surrounds him. The time stops, but he also moves slowly in there. Like, yeah. what? How? When it Grand Casting? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. When, yeah, I. I, yes, I actually like how uh, the Ezra Miller flash, he runs like this and the Grant Gustin flash, he really runs like It shows oh, yeah. that like Fla Grant Gustin is so much more trained. Yeah. Sure, he's slow, he doesn't even run fast in like a jet plane, but mm -hmm. no, he does, but like, you know, but yeah. like he's yeah. still more experienced. Yeah. yeah. While That's Ezra runs at win. the speed of light, but he's... Yeah. Does this. yeah. I, I, the... I'm not only talking about experience now, I'm talking like for the fact like when Grand Casting, for example, you see scenes where he's moving in the speed of light, you see the time around him goes sl uh, really slow, but he still mm -hmm. moves fast inside it. When that happens with uh, with Ezra Miller in this movie, he also moves slow in, his, in the speed of light. Like he doesn't move fast, it looks like he's in slow motion in the yeah. speed of light. Which looks weird mm -hmm. to me. Like, why don't I make him use? Agree. We like make him move, move normally, like we do normally. Like yeah. he moves all the time, but don't make him move in slow motion in the speed of light. I yeah. don't get that part. Um, yeah. Me neither. Yeah, that's like, I really like how they do it with uh, Quicksilver in X Men. Yeah, exactly. Oh, time everything yeah. stops and he runs. Yeah, and he runs, and he runs around. That's really nice. It's kind of like the game Super Hot, if you think about it. True. When you move, time moves, but when you don't move, time doesn't move. That's why I think the Quicksilver, like they done it, they've done it so well. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that's something we, they can obviously work on. Like make him yeah. move fast. He's moving in the speed of light. It makes no sense to make him move slow in inside of the speed of light. Like, no, oh, no. Yeah, but okay. let's keep on going because yeah. I see David doesn't want to edit twenty <laughs> minutes of flash talking. Is Ray <laughs> Fisher next? <laughs> like the cyborg okay. scene. The cyborg scene is next, right? Yes, I think so. And it wouldn't much yeah. smoother this time than it did in the previous one, I'd say. Because yep. in the previous one, we got Victor being an insecure bitch for some reason. Uh, or, well, I would also... Be, now, I would fucking be proud if I looked like a metal brick. But yeah. he, he's very insecure. And he, for some reason, like... He, he, he spies on Bruce Wayne and Diana, and one thing I really enjoyed was the fact that he didn't know who Bruce Wayne is in this part. Yeah. Uh, and when he contacts Diana directly instead of being, oh, let's text, oh no, let's meet up. He's like, let's fucking meet up, let's have this talk. Uh, I really I like the I like the theater, the theater version better though, because this time the computer screen just light up and is the location says, meet here. When in the theater version, the computer started talking and she said the address, come here at that time. I like that in the theater. Oh, that's better, nice. In my that's opinion. nice. Yeah. Because the computer talked to her like with cyborg voice. This time it was just a map with a location. Yeah. I think the theater was better in this. Yeah. But I can agree with I that. I get your point. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think that. Oh, yeah. I, I also thought, thought the connection between cyborg and his dad was. A lot better. A lot better. One. And I really like yeah. how, even though it looked horrible when he crushed the 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 the, the audio. The walkie-talkie. Yeah, the walkie-talkie. Yeah. Yeah. It was still a very it was very beautiful to see him first, like not wanting to be around his dad, to see his dad commit this huge sacrifice, to be able to later, yeah, later on appreciate mm -hmm. what his dad has done for him. I like that. Yeah. What? Well, I like the fact like. In the first cyborg scenes we're getting, where he looks like he hates himself, he's really confused because he also doesn't understand what he really is. Like, he doesn't understand what the cyborg does. And as we go through the movie, you see him understand his power more and more. And after listening to the audio films, his dad, where he gets more self-confident and starts doing stuff with the 
Cyborg, I really enjoyed this one. Like, that was definitely much better story-wise yeah. for Cyborg. Uh, yeah, I really like how his, like, dad gave him the audio recorder, or the audio tape, and he, like, kind of brings him through, but you see, like, he's not mentally ready for what his dad has to say at the end of it. So he, like, Wait, decides he... to crush it. But then the thing that I hate the most is how, like, I don't understand this at all. How did he rebuild that? He's, like, it just he's came a mother back. cube, you know? He, no, he can rebuild every electron. He can destroy and rebuild every electronic device there is. Like, everything electronic-wise, he can do it. Yeah, but he that's more of an it. electronic. There's plastic, there's metal, there's stuff like that. That's what he I don't can... get. You asked he's the cyborg. real question. He can... No, he can that he can do such things in the comics as well. Like he can rebuild computers by just looking at them, and restore software by just yeah. That's actually accurate. He does that in the comics as well. But I also love the fact that you said like when at the end of the audio it was like now I want to tell you something not as a scientist but as your father. And then as soon as he as he listens, he just crashes it. That was awesome. Like I love this one. Yeah. Like even the smaller interactions with him and his father, like um. In that one sewer area, I don't remember where it was, but, like, when he took him outside and stuff like that. Like, they had some sort of an interaction that, like, helped them bond, and we can see that as the viewers. But then we he just went Wolf. back in and kicked ass. Yeah, where Steppenwolf uh, took the guys that had uh, connection with the mother box. I think you mean that one, where he saved him? No, yeah, it's, uh... No, like, I mean, yeah, he, he doesn't want his father to die, of course not. He still loves him, even though he's a dick. But when he, afterwards, when they're taking everyone outside how the father's outside and all the other bystanders or civilians or whatever. And then like uh, you see them look at each other and he's like, go. Ah, uh, the minute like. end, the Superman, when they're reviving Superman, where they just the protocol with the alert and when he fought, when no. the elevator opens up, you mean that one? No, I like that one because he just kept going with it. But there's a scene afterwards where everyone was outside and they were looking and both of them were looking at each other because a rock almost fell on them and uh, Cyborg just shot it because Flash being done. Uh, yeah, the, it, yeah. The, scene with, yeah. the scene with Steppenwolf where Steppenwolf uh, interrogated everyone. Yeah, afterwards. I know. Afterwards, uh, yeah. After, that, yeah. after yeah. the interrogation when they saved them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I was like a nice that scene. Yeah. Like this time, story wise, we got to actually see a build up between the connection of Cyborg and his father. Also, getting to know who Cyborg was before he gets his powers, like when he was just a school high school boy. I also really, really like that. Like oh, we yeah. got an actual story from one of the most important characters in the movie. Yeah. That was really, really nice. Yeah. And I feel like th this isn't really story-wise, but it also has. I, I think the one of the jackets were actually Snyder's daughters, so it feels very, very cool that he he had that in yeah. the video. Yeah. It, or yeah, yeah, Autumn Snyder. Yeah. <laughs> I also. Cool. Loved the scene again with the audio when he listens to the audio and you see Cyborg in his head learning how to do stuff and for example that one scene with a lady where she was a, old, a single mother with two childs barely yeah, I really like that. where he he starts to figure out his power he just sees the pile of money moves his hands and at once one hundred thousand appear I really really like that how just he figures out what he can actually do yeah. And it, it, I feel like the, the the power or yeah the, the the heroism in the character of Cyborg just floats on very naturally and yep I, it it just f felt very good I'd say yeah yeah and I think I want to talk about the one scene I don't know if it was before what we talked or after where. They introduced Darkseid for the first time when he came to Earth and did the huge war with oh, yeah, all the, the humans, the, with the mother the boxes. Story, yeah. I think that scene was fucking amazing. That scene was very good indeed. and I enjoyed it. I, enjoyed I liked it. how there were so many gods. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When you see, like, you see Zeus with Ares fighting and all the Atlanteans, Amazons against Darkseid's army, that was insane. That yeah, was an insane it was really scene. Good. I but I don't know how it. he could forget that. Yeah, in the original yeah. movie. How don't you put that in the movie? But yeah. another side, in the first movie, Darkseid wasn't even in it. So yeah, I yeah, can understand why he, it's not he, in No, he, for, he forgets what Earth he was fighting on or something. Yeah, yeah, like that. 
how could no, Dark Side forget that he lost that fight? How how exactly. could he forget so, the only fight he loses? No, yeah. He didn't forget where uh, he didn't forget the fight he lost. He forgot where Earth was, like the planet, because he got lost in the universe after it. But he knew the only fight he lost was on Earth. That's why he sent Steppenwolf there as well. I think. How, how did he lose a planet though? Well, don't have Google Maps. Was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you'd get lost in the multiverse. I would have. Oh, I thought he would have pinned it at least. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I lost this one. I'm gonna go back a few thousand years later, like he usually does, to get it, and he'd pin it because in the animated ones we see shit like that happen. Yeah. Pin it. Yeah, just like say what Earth this was, where it was. I'm sure uh, someone should have done that. Probably, maybe one of the reasons is because of Superman. Maybe because Superman's actually there, he doesn't want to go. Because there was a scene where they talked about the mother boxes. Yeah, when, where they were the scared. The mother boxes were scared because of Superman. So maybe that's a reason Darkseid doesn't go. Because Superman can beat his ass 1-1, one, one, like straight up will fuck him up. So but I, I think that just shows him that he's weak. Like Darkseid's weak. Because in like the animated ones, we see Darkseid fucking beating his ass like terribly. But then Superman, of course, went because he's Superman and a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think I wanted to see more Darkseid in this story. Like we got yeah, some I'm story good. of Darkseid, but we just saw him like three, four scenes. Like mm. I yeah. think Snyder's too in too like I wanna make a sequel so it doesn't Yeah. I really, like, I really hope they get him on board for a sequel. Like uh, he, he has to do the sequel. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really. I don't think one. he will I do will a sequel. It, but, but I, I don't mind if it doesn't. If doesn't it... happen, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, imagine they get the same director as Justice League One. Yeah, I won't, I won't mind. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I just hope this jump starts a few other movies like Taz and Mark Webb cut. I'd love that. <laughs> Yeah, but all the story was a lot better. Like we got the like first of all, they didn't follow the cinema rules this time because of the whole pandemic. They knew the movie won't release in the cinemas, so they don't have to follow that. The movie has to be two or two and a half hours. Like yeah. they, because it's going to be on an online service. Zack Snyder had the time to put whatever he wants in it, so that's why he reached the four hours as well. And I think that was amazing. Like because I think that's also a downfall. Because what? if he had more money, if he had more money, it would have been so much more better. But he decided, I think if he would have made it three hours, probably, he could have put more resources and time fixing CGI and other important things. Mm. I don't mind the time because, like I said, he used, he, he took advantage that the movie is going to release on an online platform so he can do as much time as he wants. So he took advantage and really gave us an insight of all the characters this time. Why yeah. they're doing it? Why Bruce yeah. is recruiting a team? What is who is Cyborg? Who is the Flash? A little bit. Who is Steppenwolf? Why Steppenwolf is on Earth? Like I love that we actually got to see why Steppenwolf is doing, and why he wants the Mother Boxes. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, that, that was cool. But I still rather have a shorter movie, which is better. In, In my end. preference, I don't mind the time. I don't mind if three hours or four hours, as long as it's good. Yeah. And the story was definitely better, like a lot, a lot yeah. better. Yeah, I don't know what what's next up to bring up, really. I think that visuals. Yeah, yeah. well, no, well, the we still have the big ass fight at the end. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, the huge yeah. fight, and then the nightmare scene. I felt like the, the last fight was 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 a lot better. Yeah, improved very much. Really better as well. Yeah, and I know we don't talk about visuals, but I'm going to bring it up in the first movie. The whole environment was kind of orange, yeah. red, oh, yeah, yeah. and made the, and made the characters doesn't uh, like the characters didn't match with the environment. This time was in normal colors, which looked really, really nice. It was a bit darker. Yeah, yeah and we will talk story wise. I'm just going to be a little mean this one. How the fuck does uh, the demon hit Flash when he's moving in the speed of light with his yeah. last fucking shot? Yeah, How? It doesn't make sense. He's shooting Flash for like 10 minutes straight, doesn't hit him. When he reaches the point to move in the speed of light, with his last shot, he hits him. That's like, fuck. Like, yeah, that's Hollywood. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was just, just 
move on. Like, don't even bring this in. Cut five minutes of it and bring this in instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it, it was going to happen anyways, though. Like, at the point where everything just fucking exploded, I don't get how he fucking ran backwards in time without uh, going into the speed force. Uh, he or can't do that. the speed force. He, well, he went on the speed force, but they show it in another way. If you saw, like, you saw he's running backwards and everything builds up again. The yeah. ground builds up slowly. So I think he was in the speed force. It was made sense. Was, but everything was blue around him. Like, he didn't have an environment. The environment was rebuilding. I, I so I think he was in the speed force. That he's been connected to the speed force. Yeah, yeah, but that's that, his number one rule. Do not go into it or don't use it. Yeah, but yeah, if this you is did, a flash, if he doesn't you know put everything. Yeah. yeah. First of all, and second, if he doesn't go to the speed force, everyone dies. Like, actually, everything dies yeah. at that moment. So, what would you rather? Everyone die or break your own rule? Yeah. Well, like with Grand Gustins, we have a different speed force, but we have seen a similar speed force to what uh, yeah. Ezra has with um, Savitar because he was so freaking quick. He, like, you just saw, like, everything go and then just stop. It was, I, I, I liked it. I liked how that one was presented. But I think that, like David said, this Flash is already connected to the Speed Force because he said that to the Batman in the first yeah. scene where he recruited him. He's like, I'm connected to a new a a weird power. It's the Speed Force that makes me a hold of snacks when he said that. I think he's already in the Speed Force. Well, he can move in that speed. That's so. probably how why does he know that, that Like, with the lightning. Well, he, he's not he, a dumbass. Either. Yeah, Speed Force yeah, to him. The Speed Force talked to him. Didn't the reverse Flash tell Barry Grant Gustin uh, about yeah, Speed Force? Yeah, that's just Flash t TV. I don't think... Yeah, that, fucking CW. Yeah. But, like, but you can't you can do the same do you, story with every Flash. How do you just realize that you're part of a Speed Force? Like, how did how the did reverse you... Flash realize he was a part of a Speed Force? Uh, did someone I mean, he did, live in the, he did live in the future where this shit was yeah, pretty much the norm. Yeah, by the Flash. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh, okay. Because he yeah. lived, like, what, a few, like, a hundred years or two hundred years in the future, but yeah, then he, like, decided he to kill his freaking family. Timeline also. Yeah, because so he killed his dead. best friend. Then we don't have a movie him. about this Flash, so we don't actually know everything about him, oh, so yeah, we can't ask right. him. Yeah. We need a movie first for him. Yeah. Like, that's why I don't but, think it really works as well. I just gotta but, say but, this story-wise, I'm so happy that Zack Snyder didn't touch Batman that much. Just yeah, me too. He made him better. He just made him better. Yeah, but I he think. didn't touch him that much. Or, no. That just sounds yeah. very sexual. Um, he didn't. He didn't use his character that much, and I I enjoy most of the characters that Snyder's worked with. I enjoy how he did Flash and Cyborg in this one. I like his yeah. his Superman mostly. A lot better. But I, I like. <laughs> I've never felt like Batman is a character Snyder works good with or. Yeah. Even understands if I'm being completely mean what? right now. So uh, I was kind of happy with that. <laughs> well, we had more Batman though. In my opinion, yeah. we did not have. We true. barely had any fight scenes with him. Like the scene that I enjoyed the most, probably with him, was when they were going to Russia. I think it was like Moscow or whatever. Like, and he had like the fucking grappling, just fucking like murdered them, and like he actually dove and shit. And yeah. then I thought that was actually really dope. Uh, well, but if you think that he also made Batman vs Superman, which was a movie with the worst Batman and Superman betrayal ever, in my opinion, this time he did a really, really good job yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah, compared to that one, it was very good, and like, he improved in both characters. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so I, I think what? it was very much better handled. Also, one thing I didn't really like was the fact how little of Superman we got to see in the black suit. Yeah. Was like, Whoa, that was an, I, I was so fucking happy we got the black suit this time. Yeah, I was so happy we I got the so black one. I was so happy to see it, but when I look back at it, I barely can remember it because it was such a short period of time. Yeah. Well, we got Superman in the last four, uh, three chapters of the movie, so that makes also sense. Oh, yeah. What I love about Superman this time when he was at the farm with Lois when he kissed her with a ring where he wants to marry her and then he's like now i get a second chance i'm not going to waste it to waste it yeah i really love that he actually understands he's here for a reason he's not just revived for no reason like i yeah. really really enjoyed that that he understood himself without lois telling me what's happening like the first one i really enjoyed that yeah i like the part where batman bought the bank 
Yeah. Oh, the ending. Yeah. That was pretty funny, actually. How did you convince the bank? I bought the bank. <laughs> yeah, that was from the first movie. That's the same scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think one of the best scenes in the movie was when Superman actually entered the fight where Steppenwolf is right to hit a Cyborg with his axe and Superman falls down and it hits his shoulder and he doesn't even move an inch. He is like, I thought you can do better. And he freezes the axe and beats the shit out of him. I thought that was amazing. Yeah. Okay, going off of that, then remember how his horn was chopped off, or whatever you want oh, to call yeah. it, on Steppenwolf. That was horrible. It was horribly done what? with CGI. What? The blood looked like water. It was way too thin to be actual blood. <laughs> it was, it was just horrible. When when did that happen? What do you mean? Which oh, when he chops off his uh, horn. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just didn't enjoy. It. I I liked the concept of it, but it was not executed yeah, at all. I liked I liked when he chopped it off because yeah, we kind of got to got see executed. how how powerful the black suit of Superman was, and yeah, diff- like in comparison with the first movie, he just felt very powerful. But this time we get some lore and context to why he's so powerful for the po- comic book fans and stuff like that. Uh, because well, the black suit Superman have more connection to the sun or whatever the fuck you want to call it uh, so it made more sense but yeah like visually it didn't look good mm-hmm. what i also really like is i don't think the suit make such a difference it also is leading his power not, not not so much but what really made me think is when superman beat uh, stem wolf like he had him on the ground for two straight minutes just beating him and yeah, then that I was... thought, is that actually Superman or are the mother boxes still messing with his head? Because Superman wouldn't beat a guy that's uh, yeah, already he was, beat. Yeah, he was hounding on him. Yeah, like that's or a Batman thing where he's just going to beat you up and just to beat you up. But Superman would just punch him three times and then let him lay, lay down where they do the work. So I thought to myself, are the mother boxes still in his head? Is that some effect from his revive? Like that that made me really think and I really liked it actually. Yeah. Because And even with the beams, he shot him a few times, right? Yeah, like yeah. Superman doesn't do that actually. He doesn't mm-hmm. the Superman from the last movie would have never cut his sword off. Like never. No that and I also think that makes sense with the because we get to see this uh well what one of the night like the, the visions that Cyborg gets when they actually revive him, we get to see him at uh, with his black suit uh, by the knees of dark side uh, like screaming yeah. or something so it kind of would make sense that the mother boxes has something to do with his head and um, yeah I, I, yeah i think that's a it really made... good theory i mm-hmm. actually think I love... that's I... a theory because it makes me think it also set up the sequel with dark side invading the earth because if they're going to do the sequel with batman's dream at the end where superman is in the injustice mode where he's the evil one that somehow Darkseid is going to control the mother boxes and bring Superman to his side, something like that. And that really, really excites me. Yeah. I also enjoyed the fact that, like, uh, I know we spoke about this before recording, but I, I like the fact that he really died, died by the hand of uh, when, when one woman shops up, uh, shops off his head. I mean. They wouldn't have done it without Superman, obviously, but it just felt better that they did it. So it felt like they had some kind of team effort because they really didn't. Yeah. <laughs> in, the in the first movie, movie he died by his own demons, I think. Something like that, where yeah, he yeah, threw yeah, him. Yeah, they him smell the fear or something like that, they said. Yeah, like that was, nah, that was, that was stupid. I, I can't get over that they could smell fear. Yeah. Like, like I know how I I can see like using the metaphor as I can smell fear, you know, but like actually smelling fear is stupid. Yeah. yeah but... Why? Why do they attack Batman then? Batman in the comics actually fears nothing. Actually nothing. So that didn't yeah, make exactly. sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 some yeah, yeah it's just stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that, that was way, way done, way, way better done. Good job, Josh. That's yeah. awesome. I really have to say respect to Zack Snyder. The story, he was a thousand times better. Like, and I hope we get him for the sequel. I hope we get him as a director. Yeah. And the two last things I want to mention is how worthless the fucking Martian Manhunter scenes were. 
We, we, there were yeah. two. But, the first one, not the second one. The, yeah, the first one was just weird because he just said some weird ass things to Lois, La Lois Lane. Then we saw that it wasn't Lois Lane, but Martha Kent, or n not Martha Kent, uh, but, uh, but Martin, Martian Manhunter. Uh -huh. And it just felt very out of context. It could have been Martha Wayne for, or M Martha Kent for, for, like, for the sake of it. It, didn't, it doesn't really matter yeah. that it was Martian Manhunter. Uh, and the second one, it was it was good, but it f felt, f I don't know, it just felt out of context a bit. And it just feels like everybody knows who this Bruce Wayne is for some reason. Uh, Martian yeah. knows, knows all the way. Martian in the comics knows always who he is. Like, Martian knows everything when he gets to Earth. He knows who everyone is, so that also makes sense, okay. comic-wise. But I... The last scene, I really agree, and I would have preferred that this was the reveal of Martian in the movie, like the last scene of the movie, so he, he's there. But the one scene you talked about, Martha, after he was Martha, he, uh, he transferred to the general, who was in the previous movies. So that makes me think now, was this in the previous movies, was this Martian Manhunter or was it the actual general talking with the other people? Yeah. So that makes me really think. Yeah, because it's revealed by Zack Snyder that the general was Martian Manhunter, but that just makes a major plot hole. Like, why the fuck was he just standing there like a dumb idiot and didn't help with anything? Yeah, that, that's all right. Like, yeah, when you are there, like, they are fighting a huge god in Russia and you're almost as powerful as Superman. Why are you not going there? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. because he's too he's too scared to join it and then at the end he's just like oh yeah i realize what i have to do because it's my earth now as well it's fucking bullshit oh so, so the I bad guy's already finished oh then i can be <laughs> uh, yeah. i'm here now as well uh, like that but sounds I like a... th i think they're probably going to, if if they're continuing with snack Sadder's vision for the sequel i think they're co pro i hope they're going to somehow Show us a way why Martian wasn't fighting and waited for Darkseid to yeah. come. Like, yeah. I hope they like so they cover this plot hole because if they don't, it's like okay, we fought um, Doomsday, <laughs> we fought Lex Luthor, we fought uh, uh, Steppenwolf, and Marsh and Marsh Zod and Martian Manhunter was just chilling around watching. That would mm -hmm. be a huge plot hole. I hope they cover it somehow why he was waiting for Darkseid specifically to show up. Yeah. Yep. And last of the nightmare sequence. Uh, wow, that was the most hype one. I, I thought much of it was, it was great story wise. I thought the, the cyborgs part, like, I know it's only last for six minutes, but it was cool to see uh, Deathstroke. It was cool to see, uh, uh, you know, The Flash, Cyborg, uh, Mera, and all I those really characters. Enjoyed. But s s seeing, like, or, and the, the Joker was. I'd say, even though I hate Jared Leto's Joker, because he feels like a... Clown? Yeah. A natural he's a, he's a clown. Not a psychopath? Yeah, yeah, he just feels like a troll to me. Yeah. Uh, and even though it just felt weird, uh, I was it was still better than what we got in Suicide Squad, because he didn't look like a, a 2020s uh, emo rapper. True, true. <laughs> but but the, the, just the line "I will fucking kill you" by Batman made me very mad because yeah. it destroys the death from Batman versus Superman, in my opinion. I think I I thought it as of this way. One side of my head was like, "Why would Batman kill him?" But then Joker after that says, "I'm you need me to fix the mistake you did on this world." So that also makes me think, well, like, Batman is so destroyed mentally that he's going to kill Joker after it. So that also makes kind of sense. Yeah, yeah, but now we've already seen Batman being broken down to the ground once, then why the fuck do it again? It's exactly like the same thing when, with... When do we see that? Uh, 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 it's, we've, only, we've already seen Batman beat, being beaten down to the ground. Like, he's already been broken down mentally. In Batman vs Superman, so why just repeat it and do it again? It's exactly like they did with uh, Doomsday, when they kill Doomsday, and then Zack Snyder reveals it's not the real Doomsday; it's just a copy of Doomsday. So Doomsday is still Excuse out me. there. Like, okay, what is he going to do? Is he going to kill Superman again? Like, 
just feels I, very stupid. I don't agree 100% in that with you because they did not actually show Batman actually broken down. Like, you can't compare the death of Superman when having the whole world crashing from Darkseid and having Superman against you. Like, that's... And it was his mistake, probably. Like, looked of, like Joker said, it was his mistake. So, I think this time he's really, really broken down. The world is getting destroyed. Yeah, Everyone like... is dead by Darkseid. Superman is against them. He, Superman's searching to kill them. So I think this time he's really broken down, like this, in this nightmare. Mm. Hmm. Like mm-hmm. you can't compare Superman dying, and having Darkseid on Earth destroying Earth, and having Superman against you, and you are like yep. four people. I think this time he's really broken down. That's why he's saying I'm yeah, going yeah, to yeah, fucking I, do it. I agree with you, but it still feels. I still think it would have worked better if Batman wouldn't have been broken and killed people in the first movie because now it just feels repetitive to me like he's been broken down twice yeah it just feel like if he, if this would have been if this would have been the actual part where batman is broken down like we because batman versus superman would have made more sense if you know we saw we saw the more heroic batman fighting the what is his eyes is the, the the Superman who kills people or not kills people but the Superman of destruction uh, and then he turns breaks down when Superman turns against him and he got the entire world against him I think that would have made yeah. more sense for to to me at least it just feels a little bit repetitive uh, and I don't really I don't really think it's very deep when it's already happened once is it though because he also said, like, the Injustice plot where Batman already killed Harley Quinn and he told Joker, I killed her in f- when she was begging me for mercy or something. Oh, yeah. So, he, 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 he already she, killed someone. No, he, he already killed he someone. He bled out in his arms. And when when oh, when he's killing yeah. Batman, when he kills the Joker, she wanted him to do it painfully or slowly or something like that. Yeah, yeah. True, so true, true, true. Where ha- he, yeah. yeah. So he's doing Harley's request as well. Yeah, I don't really get, like, I'm not coming to conclusions right now because it's just a nightmare. We also saw a nightmare from the last, I don't know, it was in Batman vs. Superman, mm. where Flash where Flash went in the Batcave for a short second and told Batman it's Lois, Lois is the key, and then he just left. So we have a lot of parts, I'm going to say. With those nightmares, but we don't really know what those nightmares still are. Exactly. So I, I can't really come to conclusions why Batman would say I will fucking kill you or why Superman is against him except the injustice part. But we don't know how it happens. We also saw a scene in the movie where Superman flies and has Batman's soul in his hand, like he killed him. Like there's a lot we can start thinking and theorizing, but we don't know for sure yet. Yeah. I really enjoyed the costumes, though. Yeah, they True. were good. They like, were good. Ezra's Ezra Flash costume in Nightmare was beautiful. Yep. With the, with the mask and thick, yeah. Yep, how it just, like, kind of goes out and then, like, goes back in like that. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I liked it a lot. It looked good. Story-wise, what I found really, really, really fucking cringe was uh, with... Well, we obviously saw in the nightmare of Batman that uh, Superman killed Aquaman because of Mera saying, oh, he, I will, I will, how did you say it? I will kill him for what he did to My Aquaman or something. or something like that, yeah. Yeah, and like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're walking with two buckets of water against fucking Superman. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're walking. You need fucking water around you. Walk with two buckets and saying, I'm going to kill Superman. The guy who probably killed another 50 heroes before it's your turn. Like, that didn't make sense at, to me at all. Uh-huh. Like, just don't have your talk. Just let, let, let your walk. But that line was unnecessary and made the scene a lot worse, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I was very happy to see Deathstroke on live. Yep, again, yep, 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 yep. No, oh, he's in Titans. He's yeah. nice in Titans. On the big screen, but not really on the big screen. But on, on a movie. Titans is a big screen. Depends <laughs> on what I... you have. I have a pretty small screen. 
I mean, Titans is technically bigger because it's like 21-9 and not 4-3. You know? <laughs> Big screen. Yeah, true. I really, really hope that the Snyder Cut version of Deathstroke where we saw made them rethink making the movie because they had the movie for Deathstroke planned, but they rejected it because they said it won't have a, uh, enough audience to see it. But no, Deathstroke movie would be amazing. Yeah. In my opinion. I hope they really do it. He looked amazing. Like, the way he talks, like, everything looked perfect on Deathstroke, in my opinion. Yeah. But, yeah. why would they include Deathstroke, though? Why was he there? Because, they like, pro- it's the injustice. That's the injustice. Like, where... Yeah, but, like, if they make a second movie, obviously, Death the Dark Side is gonna be the, the bad guy. Why Deathstroke? Why, uh, uh, I think because if you see the last movie in the original, the theater one, at mm. the end scene where Destro goes to Lex Luthor in the yard, mm. Destro goes to him and Lex is like, um, I think we should have a league of our own, mentioning uh... Legion, Legion of Doom. Mm-hmm. So I think they're probably going to introduce Legion of Doom somehow in the next movie as a secondary villain, I'm going to say. And have them yeah. get all together when dark when injustice comes when Superman turns evil something like that. So I'm I really all for it. Good, it. Though. Yeah, because like because... Steppenwolf worked as a second villain because he like worked for Dark Side. Yeah, but so I hope they, they do don't... something. Yeah, starting they need to the work movie. Together. Yeah, starting the movie having Legion of Doom against all the superheroes, and when the injustice comes, they somehow have to take the villains with them and team up. Something like that. I would really love. Yeah, that. yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, we also uh, also one thing we see pre- pre- pretty little of, but uh, I think gets confirmed throughout the movie is the fact that Lois Lane is pregnant. Uh, that was not the cool. real. Yeah. The real question is from who? From <laughs> the Superman. <laughs> it may be there. That... Is, there's another theory where Zack Snyder, not Zack Snyder, there was a rumor before the movie came out that. She cheated on with Batman. Oh no! And the no, pregnancy it, it, was for it, Batman. Yeah, they they said that they they they, they might probably may do that. The Batman will have a love interest for Lois Lane in the upcoming movies. But... Yeah, it's a rumor. But imagine, imagine this story that that uh, Lois Lane had something with Batman and had and carried Batman's child. And maybe Lois dying and Superman thinking it was his child and turning crazy when it wasn't something like that. It could happen. I can see it happening. Yeah, but I think because Snyder has revealed his board uh, more or less uh, in in earlier days, uh, and when he didn't think that he would even release the Snyder cut, and what he said back then was that Lo- Lois Lane and Superman was going to have a baby, and when Batman makes that. Uh, ultimate sacrifice in the last movie they're going to make a new timeline where superman and lois gets to have their child and they name it bruce kent and it's going to be the new batman that's bs yeah that, that yeah. just sounds dumb i've never i never heard that in comics as well so uh, that's me, not me problem either uh, but uh we don't know how zack snyder is going to react because the Z- snyder cut is getting very positive Feedback. News, so yeah. yeah, so he may be like, okay, they like my style. I'm going to make the new one as well. Yeah, you could fucking mess that up as well. So <laughs> yeah, I, I really, they really have a lot, a lot of things to work on. Like the the scene after stepping with dice and darts and having get the troops ready while doing the old way. I was fucking that, clapping. That was like, okay, very good. That was very good. We yeah. are getting it. We are getting an Earth invasion. That's fucking awesome. I think that. Snyder's vision works very well on the HBO Max, but it doesn't go out to the general audience, I wouldn't say really. Exactly. Yeah, like we had a discussion yesterday. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of things that you need to have a little knowledge of superheroes to understand. That's actually true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I like think Marvel. That, I think that it would work pretty fine if it just kept kept on HBO Max and they go with the Flash reboot and the yeah, Batman yeah, and all yeah. of that. Yeah. On the Just big keep it screen. At HBO. And then that's yeah, exactly. true. It they didn't do it like Marvel where 
Captain America gets a movie, Iron Man, and all the main characters get a movie, and then they do the team up, they were like, okay, let's just do the team up. So we don't know, actually know everything about yeah, all the characters. So you, can, you can't watch it blindly if you don't know anything about superheroes. So I agree yeah. that with HBO Max. It's not even that, though. Marvel does so much better reaching to the general audience. Everyone knows who Spider-Man, Iron Man is in Captain America. But then you get these other people like Falcon or uh, Winter Soldier yeah. who you don't really know about, but then they expand on that. And DC doesn't really, DCEU doesn't really do that or whatever it's called. Because yeah, they like more well-known characters in DC are Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. But they do not expand on that, especially with uh, the newer ones. Like, there's no Batman movie. The closest thing we have is Batman vs. Superman, but that turned to shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I said... That's actually they don't have a solo movie for every character where we get to actually know them in that universe. Yeah. Like we don't even we don't know how experienced like we said before, we don't know how experienced Israel Miller was yep. as a flash. We don't know why Batman kills in the first movie. We don't know about Exactly, why we don't we know Man. anything. We know only of Superman or in the Man of Steel and Wonder Woman. But the rest of where is Cyborg? Where is like Aquaman was after the Justice League, so that didn't bring a lot in the movie. Like, but they did I had fix to... it. They did fix it going from Justice League to the Aquaman movie. They did do it a lot more. They fixed it. Yeah, but I forgot, actually, when watching uh, the Snyder Cut, I actually forgot that the Aquaman movie was after the Justice League movie. Yeah, me so too. When they, when, when they fought in the ocean and Mera talked to Aquaman, I'm like, and he doesn't recognize you. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? That's your wife. What the fuck? And then I realized, ah, yeah, that's after the mm -hmm. Justice League movie. So, yeah. yeah. That was kind of bad made, I think. They could have maybe said something or did something different because I really got confused. Yeah. Should when... we move on to visuals? Yes. Well, I don't think we need to talk about them. They just suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot Wait, of the I have to say one suck. thing. I have to say one thing. There was one part of the movie I hated. You know what? Which one? Amber Heard. Yeah. Wait. What? Amber Heard. Yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't like her. She's either. fucking hot, though. I don't, I don't care. She's fucking hot. <laughs> I mean, she, she's a good actress. She's just a horrible human being. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So That's all I we can really say. I, I didn't mind her being. I, I yeah, I don't. I didn't as well. Like, I, I don't mind her being a character in movies. I just don't like her as a human being. I want to punch yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, she did her job well as Mira, so I, well, yeah, he's, she, she's not a good human being, as you said, but she did her job well in the movie, so can't really blame her now. The yeah, movie was good. Did. She and Elsa Sound, 17, and what was recorded in 2020. Hey, Elsa Sound for me, and what was recorded in 2021. Yeah, thank you. In my opinion, the visuals were pretty decent nowhere near marvel as i all said like nowhere even near to marvel level in the big movies at least they had some obvious stuff that wasn't really well made they had some stuff that was were really really well made and i loved the fact we didn't have any mustaches this time like <laughs> superman <laughs> laughing and his mouth being nah i'm i'm okay i'm really fine with the visuals I'm yeah yeah complaining. like i understand that they are bad but so so are decent. I understand because they don't have a, unlimited money. They don't have unlimited time. Of course, it's not yeah. gonna be perfect. But uh, the only thing I really like were irritated in was probably like uh, fuck. I forget his name. Cyber. Cyborg. 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 Thank you. I I always say cyborg because like he didn't look good. Like Flash when he entered the Speed Force, that was perfect. You know. Yeah, can't do that good. much better but like cyberpunk looks shit cyberpunk. steppenwolf <laughs> he <laughs> fuck cyberpunk <laughs> cyborg <laughs> yes cyberpunk was shit as well no but like cyborg was shit uh, steppenwolf i didn't like him when he first saw the steals one like months ago but now i He's growing I'm... on me. I st he's not perfect, you know, he looks kind of shit too, but like... He won't grow on you anymore, he's dead. So, you won't see him again. <laughs> I, I don't know, but my eyes got pr pretty irritated of watching, looking at him. 
And when I looked at I him, like much, him. I like him. I, well, I, I just he looked he looked good and his armor was cool, but it was too mirrory for my taste, really. Yeah. Mm. Too many well, bad I didn't enjoy him. Not I really just googled it. They had a budget of seventy million dollars for the Snyder Cut, so mm. I'm not really yeah. blaming him for the visuals. The first yeah, movie exactly. had three hundred three hundred million. Mm-hmm. If that Snyder had 300 million for his movie, it would have been perfect visually as well. But with 70 million, I totally understand it. Yeah, yeah exactly. They don't have the money, so I can't really blame them. They can't just take a loan. Yeah, 70, or... million, 70 million for to add the half the movie because half the movie was missing. So yeah, he did an amazing exactly. job. Five times the budget. So <laughs> yeah, if he, he had did. the money, I'm really sure it would have been a clean nine or ten. Yeah. Yeah. I, I... Yeah, but like. The one thing also is this is a thing many movies does, Marvel as well. They use too much green screen. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, just taking the time and actually finding the right locations and the right real world locations would make the money the movie so much better with real scenery. That's the th- like Lord of the Rings. I they agree. go through New Zealand and they're like beautiful mountains and they are real. Nothing's fake. And that's like, I don't Can like how much though? green screen. Please. Can you do that though? Like, where can they find Apocalypse? Or where can they find the barrier? No, but like Amazon, you could probably find a good place for that. Those things. Yeah, that's re- I yeah. think that I think the island was real actually. I think that. Bro, was it looks like island. shit if it's real. <laughs> yeah, I don't think some that was scenes right. look very weird. There. Yeah, yeah, but maybe some scenes are green screen. But yeah. like, uh, like the th- the scene where like they did the whole hit the fight scene with. Yeah. from the past they could probably find some good place to do that and just like changing the ground yeah, yeah. to have it like because f- having real scenery is like a big thing we're actually like going away but, from and i don't like that but again he had only 70 million dollars to yeah. work with. oh yeah yeah that's also a good argument so he can't really travel with all the cast and such like oh, give man. him a real budget and he can do I f- I really think he's one of the best directors there is. I really like his work. But when you give him $70 million to pretty much cover half the story of the movie and add another 50 scenes, he can't. He has a limit like with that money. So I, I I'm really, really is. happy that it came out. I think he's a really great scenographer. Uh, yep. But I don't prefer him as director, uh, director-wise. But uh, yeah, yeah I, think, I, thought, I think most of the visuals were good for the budget they were given yeah but some things looked shit but you can still like over like you can you can look past it i'd say yeah 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 it's like if you don't even pay if you don't even pay that much attention to the visuals you don't realize half of them yeah so i'm pretty i'm really happy with the visuals given he had only 70 million dollars not only for visuals but to cover Half the story of the movie, I'm really happy with it. Mm. He did a great job. Uh, acting wise, I got then, hiccups. Should we should we move to acting wise or you do you have anything more to add, guys? Um, yeah, let's That's go. That's good. I thought the the acting was great most of the time. I think the script was kind of weak at some parts and yeah, hundred percent. Even kind of cringy at points. Not not. Not Justice League cringy, but uh, yeah, just a decent, decent amount of cringy. Yeah. I can agree with that, but then, I like because I've seen some reviews from other reviewers as well. He had like it's not like he did his own movie. He had to also follow some cringy stuff that happened in the original Justice League movie. So some things that had to stay cringy, like he can't change them totally. So. I understand your point, but I also think some things he had on that movie had to stay the same because mm. he's just going to switch the whole plot. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. I don't have much to say about acting. It like, was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, most of it was good. I just didn't enjoy some of the more cringier parts, but other yeah, than yeah. that, I, I enjoyed it. If we're talking acting, I have to say Isra Miller did an amazing job this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Isra Miller is super good. Too. He, he like he really gave me the the character. Of, have you, all of you watched the Justice League animated series? Yeah, I've watched uh, parts, of, parts it. of it. Yeah, 
where like if you watched it you can clearly see he he's a really cringy character on the start like he he, do, he doesn't know how to communicate he saying dumb stuff and that's what he do, he does in that movie like for example the scene where he asked Cyborg, hey, do you think Wonder Woman likes younger guys? Like, he did it in a really cringy way. Funny, a yeah. Really, yeah, a really flashy way. So, his acting is really on point. I really, really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he he's, he's just from Miller, or he's the Flash, brought out everything I, I'm missing at, with, with yeah. the t DC TV Flash. Because yeah, only his visuals are bad, but as a Flash, he's amazing. Yeah, his acting is amazing. Yeah. Like the, the Flash in the DC TV, he's just serious and depressed and depressed yeah. and serious. But this was a very good mixture of serious, smart, and funny. Uh, I'd say. Well, I don't think he's serious at all, and that's what I love about him because Flash isn't serious at all, never. Like if you watch any cartoons, he's the one doing all the shit and having to be stopped from Batman or Superman most yeah. of the time. Yeah, but I, I think so I really, they... really liked it. I think it's when they uh, are th speaking about reviving Superman because he's very—he's a very smart character. Yeah, uh, he played it smart, but not serious. That's yeah. what I love about it. Yeah. Like when they're communicating, he's like, "Okay, fuck, I'm doing it." Like he doesn't think seriously, but he's like, "Okay, let's yeah. go roll, let's roll with it." He, his acting is really, really, really amazing, and I hope we get a movie with yeah. him as a Flash. I also like the, the, the this the, like Ray Fisher as Cyborg. And I Amazing. know how much Ray Fisher have had like problems with Warner Brothers and how they are handling things. So I was very glad to see that how, that that we got to see the real Cyborg and not just a well, movie, uh, <laughs> by boy, a, a robot. Yeah, a, a, a robot with with a hoodie uh, on it. Cyberpunk. Like, <laughs> like I. Like, if you ask me right now what's the worst acting you saw in the movie, I have to say Jared Leto Joker when he laughed. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the worst thing I saw. Like, the <laughs> acting was they... actually amazing in this movie. Like, I don't have any complaints about that. Yeah. What? The screeching cat? It sounds like a screeching cat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I often refer to him as a, a laughing seagull. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't like, like Jared Leto as Joker. Acting wise, I'm I'm actually surprised. I thought they they didn't they wouldn't do that well. But acting wise, it was actually amazing done. Like really really well done in acting. I didn't yeah. find any holes in their acting. Bruce played it perfectly this time. He was the dark version of Bruce Wayne, which we hope to see. They cut off the cringy jokes the original movie had. Uh, Everyone like I'm really sub I'm really out of words. The acting was really amazing. I really really liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving down to downgrades. I feel like we've covered a lot of downgrades as well. Yeah. Like yeah. upgrades and downgrades Joker. just throughout Joker. everything. Joker is a downgrade, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like Joker I mean, will I mean, always be a downgrade from Heath Ledger. So. Yeah. Yeah. True. Actually, I I I can nah. I think the best joke is Mark Hamill, in my yeah, opinion. Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill is a gold for sure. He's a gold of joker. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, yeah, I mean. but like live 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 action joker. Ah, uh, yeah, true. I, I, I really come I, compare I, Cameron what is, what is it called like Cameron animated Mon Mon Cameron Bros. No, Cameron Mon <laughs> Monoga or something like that. Do you mean the first joke the first joker? No, 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 no. The uh, the joker from the Gotham show. I think he's Oh, oh, I don't so like him. I don't like, I like him. Uh, so Jeremiah. Much. Jeremiah. Je yeah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Yeah, I don't like him. Jerome uh, and awful, the, awful, the last awful. episode. Awful. I hated him. I loved him. Really? Yeah, he's the closest we've got to a Mark Hamill Joker, I'd say. I, uh, no, he, he's putting Mark like, Hamill down. Especially True. like the, the the last episode, seeing what he's becoming. That's what I like. But, <laughs> Did you see his visuals? He looked like a fucking grandpa. Oh, he yeah. didn't look like a Joker. Yeah. Oh yeah, but they couldn't use the name the Joker, so they had to make what the fuck that was. It, like Fox uh, didn't have a real choice, but I think that he's not how the show was written, but just his acting like the Joker was. Wait, which one? Uh, it's from Gotham. Hmm. The, the TV show. There. Yeah. 
Yeah. It just mm. got a crazy. The, the, the actor just get, got a really crazy vibe. Well, in my. Like, if you ask me what a downgrade from the last movie was, probably some scenes that weren't necessary in the movie. Oh, yeah. And the only downgrade I felt like having was my disappointment that I didn't see Darkseid in the movie as much as I hoped. Like, when yeah, I saw the too. trailer of Darkseid, I hoped Darkseid is going to be the villain on that movie. Mm. <laughs> I kept asking but, myself when he's going to show up. Yeah, also... but then... Oh, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. And, yeah, I also was... were asking myself, where, where is Darkseid? Like, where is he? And we got to the final hour and the fight happened and Darkseid said, okay, we're doing the old way. I was like, okay, I'm... Disappointed I didn't see him that time, but I'm also hyped that I'm going to see him the next three hours on the next movie. So, yeah, that was my only downgrade. We didn't see Darkseid as much. Yeah, I'm also happy that they didn't include Darkseid that much. Because if they would have killed him in this movie, it would have been like a cast off. What the fuck? Waste of the character? I think I know what you mean. A waste. A waste. Cat off for three. Catastrophe. What the fuck? Catastrophe. Catastrophe, yeah. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Uh, yeah, catastrophe. Because they can't kill, like, the strongest person in the universe or the multiverse, I don't fucking know, in one movie. No. Yeah. No, you can't do that. So and, I'm glad they didn't and, include him that much. Yeah, also I think that it was a good thing because if he would have added the character more, it would feel... I think it would have felt a bit forced... Since mm-hmm, but, but now he just teased it a bit, so in case, like, if the fans are <laughs> in, case. F- in, in case he gets another movie, we will be hyped for seeing him more in that one. Well, yeah. they just had gave us a false hope, we can say that yeah. that way. Like, from the terrace, I hoped, yeah, well, because we already knew the movie is four hours long, so I thought to myself, okay, it's going to be something like Infinity War Endgame, where we have the big villain on. Thanos x dark side so I thought it's going to be something like it but they just made an amazing build up for a movie where we're going to get the earth invasion from dark side so I really really hope fans if are going to do something to get that movie yeah a few scenes were unnecessarily long like we I, I made a joke like uh, oh the, the, this movie is going to be extended now we will see the you know the arrow that hits the the Greek temple going around the entire world and that one scene was covered for like 20 seconds of just an arrow flying. And I thought that was pretty irritating. I, I was dumb. I mean, we, we know for sure that it was traveling a very far yeah. part. We don't have to see it go 20 minutes, like 20 seconds just to see it hit somewhere. But it's the not only a real downgrade, like, I can also say it was the reveal of Martian Manhunter oh. on the Martha scene. Oh yeah, yeah, it was yeah. horrible. Just cut the scene and show him at the end where he visits yeah. Batman. And get us hyped that Martian Manhunter is a movie. Like he's there at the end. So I think the only downgrade slash upgrade they could have done, cut the scene with Martha and Martian Manhunter and put him just in the end like they did. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Because yeah. for me at least, revealing him in the middle of the movie g- gave me the the sense or the, the idea of him being in the final battle that he would join in some way. Yeah, yeah. But he just wasn't there. And then he arrives in the end credit scene like it would be some major fucking plot twist. But I was like, we've already seen this guy. Why, why the fuck is he here again? Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. It, like, it, it was a wasted, wa- wasted character. Wasted character. Just yeah, wasted. It was just a, a, a... They wasted the moment of surprise. And... Well, not only that, I actually forgot about him after five minutes watching the fights after the scene. So you just bring up a, 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 one of the leaders of the Justice League and we forgot about him like the next five minutes. Oh, so yeah. that was a waste of like, it's not a downgrade. It's just a bad thing that happened in the movie. Yeah. The Martian Manhunter. Just... But I did think we covered a lot, like almost everything that, like in the hour and 30 minutes or whatever we've been talking for. Oh, yeah. Uh, one hour and 32 minutes. You were very close. Uh, and uh, I agree with you, David, okay? Yeah. I will spend so much time editing this that I'm probably going to end my life. Yeah, I feel <laughs> the pain now. I, 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 I hate editing much. Just, just having to track out 
uh, all of Jesper, so it will be watchable. It will be such a pain. <laughs> I know that's gonna suck. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I kind of like it. Are we going to do the improvements or not? Oh yeah, let's do the improvements. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. None. No. <laughs> okay, improvement. Uh, Basically everything was it. The yeah, credits, I think the whole movie was improvement. I think, yeah, yeah, the whole movie. Too. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But this story-wise, everyone, like, the characters that we follow had a greater depth. The main antagonist or the main villain had reason. And... It the visuals just... maybe didn't have an improvement, but oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely I can downgrade. live with that. Well, I think that Zack Snyder just saw what Marvel did with the Avengers in the Infinity War and Endgame and how they presented them and he just took some ideas, I think, and he said, okay, look what's missing from the first movie. Story. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. is Steppenwolf there? Is he on his own. Yeah, they really uh, fixed why, some holes. Who is Cyborg? Why? Who the fuck is Cyborg? The most important character in the movie, the one who's going to fix the mother box. Who the fuck is he? He just took every bad aspect of the first movie and improved it. Did someone see David's camera? So, yeah, that's oh. my opinion. I think everything story wise was improved, yeah. everything acting wise is improved, the costumes were better. Yep. Um, I think everything was improved except the visuals. Yeah. I think yeah. the movie was just went from a two out of ten to an eight or a nine out of ten. Yeah. And it, it went really... from a three to a six point eight in my eyes, so that's very good. Yeah, it went from a from a two to a seven point no just seven out of ten in my eyes. Yeah, I went like a three to seven. Hey. I'd like my six point eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said seven point ten. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay. After Time to review. Forty minutes of discussion. Uh, I give the Snyder Cut a seven out of ten um, because I think it, it's much better than the theatrical cut, and it was actually a very enjoyable movie. There was still plenty of things I think could have been handled better, uh, but I enjoyed seeing. A movie st- starring Cyborg and The Flash uh, very much. Over to you, Aver. Thank you. Uh, uh, my review is 7 out of 10, just like David's. I agree with everything he said. The CGI is what brought me down a lot. I, I could go lower, but it was a decent movie. I wouldn't really watch it again by myself. Over to you, <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> oh, sheesh. Okay. Uh, so, I give it a 6.8 out of 10. Because it was better than the original one. Uh, I would not watch it again, I think, because it's four hours. And it's, uh, it's four hours too much for my taste. But it was better, and therefore, it is okay. Next to you, you. <laughs> uh, yeah, my final thoughts on the movie. First of all, my, my rating is 8 or 9 out of 10. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was... A thousand times better from the first movie. Like, we got to see all the characters, the build-up, and everything. There, like the other guys said, there are some things that they could have done better. Like the visuals, for example, but they didn't have the budget. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to rewatch the movie. I'm a huge comic fan, and I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend to everyone who hasn't watched it yet. The same. And Yeah. David, you take the control for the last minute. <laughs> uh, okay, so thanks to Aver, Jesper, and I still... What's your name, bro? What's your name? You're just Batman for me here. It's Bruce Wayne. It's okay. <laughs> thanks again to Jesper, Aver, and Bruce Wayne for being in this video. Uh, <laughs> it was really great having you here. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, if you yeah, want to see more of us, watch uh, our theory. Link in description. We got it. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for thanks for, for letting me have this opportunity to shut speak up. with you. <laughs> I never speak with you, David. So thank you. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. <laughs> Please comment your thoughts on the Snyder Cut in the comments. Give some feedback, a like or a dislike. Doesn't really matter. Don't be a bitch about the Snyder Cut, though. Also, uh, join the Discord. The link in description. Oh, yeah. 
The Discord is amazing. Follow my Instagram. Yeah. Link in description. Link, link in description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that was everything, really. Uh, thanks for <laughs> watching. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye. Link or, in or, description. Or morning, or you know, lunch, or afternoon, or okay. You know, <laughs> link in description. Have a nice anything. Link in description. <laughs>